Aloha, everyone. I'm Rick Kirkham of ProactiveComputerSupport.com. I just finished giving an in-home computer lesson to one of my senior citizen clients who had called me with a problem, and I took that opportunity to show her how to solve that problem. So she actually called me because she couldn't print something because she couldn't find a, a print button where, where she wanted to print. So a uh, little bit later on, I'm going to show you a little keyboard trick so you can do that. Now, in the meantime, over here, she had this window just like this. And what I showed her was to bring her mouse all the way up and put it over that square. And you notice now it says maximize. So we left mouse click for the action of maximizing. And there we are. We solved the problem. And I always tell my both my remote computer clients on the mainland and my in-home computer clients here on Oahu, right mouse click for a menu, left mouse click for an action. Okay? So we left mouse click this time for that action. And if I click here again, and now it says restore down. So that maximize button but, uh, is gone and replaced with the restore down button. That's the benefit of virtual buttons, you know, programmed buttons. It's, I know when people first get their cell phones and stuff like that, they want real buttons, but believe me when I tell you, these smartphones here are actually a lot easier to use if you have somebody set them up for you to make them easy to use. Now, I do that also, obviously. But, and I can do that remotely. But anyway, so let's let's push this again. And here we are. Now, because we were already in this spot, I've gotten a, I've gotten a few calls with this problem right here. You don't see them. There's not a maximize button. You can't get to X to exit. Oh, no. What do I do? Okay. You can actually drag your window over. And you drag it over by putting your mouse way over to the right, past the plus, but not past anything that's active, like search tabs, it says. We don't want to click there. We want to click on a spot that's not being used, to the right of the plus, and then we left mouse click on it, and we're going to hold the button down. Now, why are we going to hold the button down? Because we're not done with the left mouse click action of dragging the window until we get it in the spot where we want it. So we hold the left mouse button down, and we can move the window where we want it. And once again now, you can see the square, and you can see the X. Okay? I keep looking at my own image, so I'm not looking down. I'm looking at my own picture, which, who would want to do that? I'm sorry that you have to see it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's go ahead. Oh, one other thing. When I first, whoop, right mouse click. There you go. When I first showed her, tried to show her how to drag, she actually got a hold of one of the one of these tabs here. Let's let's use my book, which is very popular. So let's left mouse click on that and do the same motion. Look at that. And that's exactly what she did. Was well, she actually dragged it off of the window and created a whole nother window for that. Okay, so by that time, I didn't want to show her one more thing to, to fix that. It, it is fixable, I'll show you. So I had her close the whole thing, and I had her do that by putting her mouse over Google Chrome, and then right mouse click for a menu, and then left mouse click for the action of close all windows. So I had her do that. Now I can click any left mouse click anywhere to get rid of that. And, whoop. Still in trouble with that mouse. And if I put my mouse back on this tab again, I can left mouse click and hold it, and I can actually drag it right back to the window. So let's maximize now. Because, um, by the way, uh, uh, feel free to order that book. There's there's the website address for it. Uh, you're you're going to be very impressed at how much time it saves you 
with the little tips in there. It's even got troubleshooting tips for even even viruses and stuff. But the tips in there, like I'm showing you now and some more advanced tips, uh, will be well worth it. It's even got videos uh, linked to it. So you can click on the videos and, and actually watch just like you are right now. But anyway, the next thing I, I showed her was she wanted to know, uh, and this is a perfect example right here. And so she wanted to know how to print something on the keyboard. So for that, let's go over here to the Jamboard. Now, usually Jamboards are like for educators and stuff. And I'm actually a dual certified teacher from Illinois and a certified substitute teacher here on Oahu. And I do a lot of in-home tutoring specializing in students with behavioral challenges. I have ADHD myself, so I'm very good with working with them, and I've learned how to use my ADHD without medication. So I think I think that's important for you to know. <laughs> it may not be, but I think it is. So I'm going to use a Jamboard here to show you guys and get gals who uses the word gals anymore to show you folks how to do this and what I'm gonna do here uh, hopefully I'll get this right there's a keyboard for you okay so I just clicked on that keyboard now to print something where you don't see anywhere to print go down to your keyboard press and hold the control key so hold that down hold the control key down and then tap the P oh, I need my circle again so control P on the keyboard will help you to print something okay so when I had my computer client did do that she tried to push the shift key and uh, here's the way that I gave her to remember it and once again I want to express to you this is the difference between someone that actually knows how to teach and someone who just knows something and they're showing you how to do it okay I I hear the bad stories as well as the good like the the nephew or the grandson or granddaughter, or whatever, just yelling at grandma because she gets so frustrated. She's not frustrated with grandma. She's frustrated with herself. And she'll accidentally say things like, oh, everybody knows this, you know, and you just can't do this. And they're wrong. You have, if you're a senior citizen, you have more life experience than the average person. That means that if a good teacher utilizes that life experience as part of your lesson then you're going to learn faster okay the thing is you just need to get the right teacher if you really really do it yourself you know then go ahead and get my book but other than that text me call me and i will take care of you so here's what i did when she went to push the shift key i what i said was you want to control your printing, right? She said, yes. I said, okay. Then you push control and hold that down because you want to control it. So you're holding it down to control it. And then you tap the P, that's the right mouse click again. And you're only tapping because you only want to print once. That's not really the way it works. But it's a way to remember it. So, control P on the keyboard because you want to control your printing. And you want to keep controlling your printing until you're done activating the print menu. So, you only have to tap the P while you hold the control key down. So, let's do that. Now that you, now that you got some idea how to do that, let's see here. There we go. This is a good example. Let's say you want to print out this information. Okay, so control 
I'm holding that down, tap the P, and a print menu comes up. It's in Google Chrome, it's the same print menu here that comes up. And there's there's my print. Now you notice a few things. <clears throat> Sorry. First off, I can select the printer by using that down arrow, and I can even save it as a PDF. Okay. I can print all the pages, or I can customize it, and I can just print maybe one page. Or if I print two pages, now it looks like this. It shows you, uh, shows you examples. Or actually, that's page two. Sorry. Let's say if I want to print pages one and two. One, comma, two. There we go, right? Okay. Now, let's say if I want to print, if I have three pages on here, then I can print one dash three. And if there are three pages on here, then I talk too much or write too much. But there they are. So you can do it that way too. You can customize this or you can just click on all. And then you got portrait or landscape. Landscape is like when you turn something sideways and it's wide. Portrait is narrow. Uh, on your cell phone, you can refer to that as you can refer to this as portrait and landscape, but some places actually call it vertical and landscape. I know I'm giving you more lessons here than. What I, what I planned on, but you notice how all this is black and white? Well, I can select color. Okay, that probably looks a little nicer to you. Okay, but I'm not really going to print, so I'm going to cancel. And that's all there was to it, really. So, taught you a little bit more than what I planned on, but that's good. I'm glad. So you can always rewind this video. Rewind. <laughs> yeah, I used to have a VH, VHS. You can always, you, you can always, uh, I think they still call it rewind. You can always uh, rewind the video and uh, play it again. Uh, feel free to like, subscribe to my channel, like the video, and comment. If you comment, that, that also helps me. Ask me questions. Give me more videos to do and by all means please regardless of whether you're on the mainland or whether you're here on Oahu please text me or call me for lessons that's how I make my living and I thank you for your support and I think that's it so God bless you and God bless everyone enjoy your computers don't be afraid of them <laughs>